Good evening and thanks for being with us on a busy Saturday night. I'm Luke Clary. Tonight, the governor has declared a state of emergency as Hurricane Hillary barrels toward California. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for more than 40 million people. The storm and its wind and rain just hours away from our state. California is not taking any chances. Many loading up sandbags to protect their homes and businesses. Others resorting to plywood to protect windows and doors from the howling wind. The governor meeting with members of Cal Guard in San Diego as they get ready to face the brunt of the storm and whatever is headed towards the people of California. Some 7,500 boots now on standby. Tonight, Newsom addressed the state from his Twitter account. His message, the same one we've heard all along. Please, please listen to emergency personnel, local officials. Take seriously debris flows and floods, flash floods, lightning, possibility of tornadoes. Stay safe and as always, take advantage of the resource calalerts.org. And ABC 10 is in the storm zone tonight. Our Andy Judson is hunkering down in Palm Springs. She just got in about an hour ago. That desert area expected to get a year's worth of rain in just two days. She has more tonight on what's already being done to keep people safe. Yeah, we're coming to you from Palm Springs, where it is quite literally the calm before the storm, but that's not expected to remain here quite much longer because we're expecting to see those outer bands of Hurricane Hillary start to impact this area into the late hours tonight and early hours tomorrow morning, where it's going to bring significant rainfall. Now, local authorities are already preparing for a lot of flooding here. They're telling the public to remain safe and they're already closing some roads that are really prone to flooding. And of course, we'll continue to keep you updated from Palm Springs here all throughout the day tomorrow as we see Hurricane Hillary impact this area. But for now, I'll send it back to you in studio. That was our Andy Judson leading us off tonight from the storm zone. Hillary already disrupting plans and people's lives as it barrels north. Here's more on how people are bracing for impact all across Southern California and the desert southwest. Millions across the Southwest bracing for life-threatening flash flooding as Hurricane Hillary takes aim. Unprecedented tropical storm warnings now in effect for Los Angeles and San Diego. Tropical storm warning, the first ever for Southern California. Evacuations just issued for several communities in San Bernardino County. Make no mistake, this is a very, very dangerous and significant storm. In Newport Beach, city workers loading sandbags, preparing for the worst. It's kind of unbelievable. 30 miles to the south in San Clemente, crews laying down plastic tarps, guarding against potential mudslides. Forecasters say Hillary could dump a year's worth of rain in some areas in less than 48 hours. In the desert of Palm Springs. To have a tropical storm come through like this, uh, it, it's unreal. Former ABC 10 reporter Dan Adams watching dark clouds roll in over his home by surveillance camera. Normal rainfall is usually between four and five inches for the entire year. They're predicting between five and seven inches for the entire for this one day storm. So you get all that type of rain and precipitation at one time. It's going to create real problems. The biggest will be flooding. That's what it's looking like because of all the rain coming down. We don't have the infrastructure to be dealing with this. In L.A., crews building massive sand berms to protect the coast from the waves. Is L.A. prepared for this? Uh, I doubt it. And since we can't handle normal rain, I doubt we'll be able to handle this type of rain. Video from the International Space Station showing the powerful storm churning in the Pacific. Expected to slam Mexico in the coming hours, already kicking up massive waves. Beaches closed, boats pulled out of the water. And now our Devin Truby tracking all of this for us tonight. And Devin, this storm, the ferocity of this storm, something that Californians have not seen in quite some time. That's right, Hillary already making history as the first tropical storm warning for Southern California, but she can also go down in the books for many other reasons. Let's take a look here at our hurricane history. The only hurricane most recently to make landfall, 1939 with El Cordonza in Long Beach, California. Hillary expected to be a tropical storm, but if she were a hurricane that made landfall in California, well, that'd be the first in over 80 years. 
Hurricane Nora more recently, 1997, coming in as a tropical storm in Southern California. So folks living down there right now may remember that. That's what you should be expecting. But Hurricane Hillary really dissipating tonight. That cloud coverage no longer a clear, distinct eye and not as tight of a spiral, making her now a Category 1 storm system. So let's track out where is she going first. Though we have a tropical storm warning in the blue, Hurricane Warning for us in the red as Hillary will hug that peninsula tightly all the way up the coast. Winds already going down to 90 miles per hour. Hillary will speed up in the next 12 to 24 hours, pushing along the Baja coast into Southern California. And then we'll, she will go even higher into Northern California. We shall see the impacts of the storm on Southern California overnight tonight, early morning hours for sure by 11 a.m. when folks might be starting to wake up and then into Northern California on Monday. We're feeling very confident about where she is going. She's pushed a little bit towards the north as we made our way through the day. A few outliers now showing some activity down towards Las Vegas, Arizona, even the Colorado region. A few outliers a little bit closer to home, but this is that confident path that she is taking, pushing towards the north because there's really nowhere else for her to go. Caught between this high pressure system for the plains and a low pressure system closer to us. This is the track and this is the space that Hillary has to travel through for our storm right now. Again, Category 1, Southern California, seeing those impacts coming in very soon. Northern California will track out how much rain and wind we can expect on Monday, Luke. All right, thank you, Devin. I know we'll be tracking this all night long.